Hi guys, Rachie Bop here and today I'm going to be showing you how to record The Sims Mobile or indeed any app on your phone or just your phone screen in general on the Elgato Screen Link software for free. So first of all, just get yourself hooked up with the Elgato Screen Link app. I'll put a link to it in the description, but otherwise you just go into the app store, type Elgato and download the screen link. Now this should have all your instructions within it, but it's easy to get lost and I don't find Elgato software and hardware the easiest, so hopefully a video like this will help you along. There's the get started section, a really good resource, camera which will allow you to access the camera on your phone and screen directly from that. That, and then the settings in which you can change all your settings while you stream and you can also get pro so this is a free app and it will allow you to capture up to five minutes at a time completely free but if you want more than that you can upgrade for £9.99 I definitely recommend trying the free version out first of all and see how you get along with it also you can do it in five minute bursts and that kind of thing but if you're doing really long full like let's plays on your iPhone then you're probably gonna want to pay the 9.99 but if you find it worth it then it's I mean 9.99 isn't a great deal for a great piece of software obviously we've got OBS I've done a video about that in the past but OBS has its own issues as does Elgato so they're all options some will work better for people than others and I'm using this on the iPhone 10s Max and I'm streaming to a PC well a laptop so it doesn't have to be a Mac it does kind of insinuate in the app that you have to stream to a Mac but you absolutely don't you can stream to a PC what you need to do is go to the Elgato website and download the 4K capture utility. Again, I'll put a link in the description, but please make sure you get the 4K capture utility. You don't need anything else, just that. And when you've downloaded the app and you've got that piece of software, you basically need to swipe down from the top of your iPhone to open your control center, hold down the record button, which is the circle within a circle, and you'll see the option for screen link. Tap the screen link, tap start broadcast. It's up to you whether you want the microphone on or off. I usually stream via a server to OBS and the sound will be taken then from my iPhone to my laptop. Whereas with this, you will hear it on both. So if you don't wanna hear it, make sure you got your headphones on, you can mute it within the software, you can mute your iPhone whatever you see fit have a play around with this before you rely on recording with it as well so once you're doing that you can then open your 4k capture utility and you should see a screen link you might not see it straight away you may have to broadcast first and then you can see the screen that's been broadcast to it and then you're going to want to hit the record button now this is this part is really confusing it starts and stops with the record button you can pause it and you can play but it's basically going to both start and stop with that button and it does get a bit confusing because it just seems to start a new one as soon as you do it now it just gets very 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 confusing so just make sure to test this out um, and get a feel for when it's recording and when it's not have a look at the interface there's you can mute and unmute the sound you can take screenshots directly from it the reason why i recommend this and why i'm going to be using it myself is because it seems to run very smoothly and it captures very clearly as with all elgato streaming devices there's a slight delay as you can see here so be aware of that when you're recording if you're recording with a microphone however you decide to do that whether it's as a separate file or as part of the iphone capture there's so many different ways to do all this stuff once you've got the file it will show in your library within the 4k capture utility software if you look in the settings you can see exactly where that's going to be saved and find that there or you can just right click it and open with file explorer and then once you've got that file you can edit it or do whatever it is that you want to do i hope this video has helped you but if you have any questions please leave them down 
in the comments and I'll try my hardest to answer those for you. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!